Greetings, Kieslings. Kieslin Prime here. Uh, doing something a little bit different. Uh, in honor of One Piece's 20th anniversary, as of the 19th, though I think officially it was the 22nd, based on the Wikipedia, that was probably when it was actually, you know, went on sale. But the 19th is when it was presumably officially published. Uh, 20 years, good lord. <laughs> uh, it's covered more than Dragon Ball Z, the second biggest series in the world for manga publication in I beat it by a mile it's like two, almost twice as many things sold it's the biggest series period which I'm glad I found it I mean it's been highly enjoyable but how I found it is kind of <laughs> the sad part of it all just like many other people who might have been watching Rogers Bass's 20 for 20 videos, he talked about how he was introduced to One Piece, and I was introduced the same way. The horrible four kids dub. <laughs> uh, well, it didn't seem horrible at the time, you know, I, it was a new series. I saw some of the earliest promos in the summer of uh, 2004. Uh, the the iconic Luffy jumping off in the opening sequence. I saw that and like, what the hell is this? It looked kind of fun. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure exactly when I actually officially started watching it. Though I eventually did see all the episodes. All 104 episodes that four kids have made. Because they horribly shortened everything because of their editing practices. <laughs> Which is part of the reason why it's notoriously horrible. <laughs> but, you know stupid and naive me still am 13 years later I was 14 at the time when that show came out so I just naive most of my life but um, it was an enjoyable show I mean obviously it got better once I saw the source material of the manga which I really didn't start reading until like high school and I mean I don't even I I think I read some of it, like, in my sophomore or junior year. That was when I really got into manga, period. And One Piece would be one of those. Though I didn't really get caught up with it entirely, I read what, because the uh, four kids had lost the licensing, licensing three years in, so in 2007, Toonami started showing the anime, which I watched from there, but eventually, as we all know, Toonami, you know, I say crash and burned, but not really. <laughs> it got cancelled eventually, and they quit showing it all entirely. So I, it would be, what, 2012? when the anime came back with Toonami and all that, and I didn't care to watch any of that. But the the manga is what I mostly followed, because it's <laughs> the original source material is always the best. Which, I, like I said, I was a sophomore or junior in high school, so I caught up with it eventually, and after I graduated from high school, I continued to read it, the Dressrosa arc, when I reached the point where that, I was like, holy crap, I've actually caught up with it. It was right when they got to the island. <clears throat> and you could see it looming in the distance. I, I, I don't even remember what year that was when that first came out. And I'm like, oh my god, I caught up with it. The, the same moments of, uh, because I had stopped reading it for a while. And then the time skip was another big moment, obviously. Having to wait four weeks for a, a chapter, that was... Mm. And then I've been, you know, caught up with it ever since. To the point where the, the Luffy versus Sanji fight in Whole Cake Island was the very first chapter I ever did a live reaction on. And that was... Good lord... Seven, eight months? No. 
It was like 10 months ago. <laughs> Nine months ago. I don't know. I can't do math in my head right now. <laughs> it's been a while back. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just... I kind of wanted to just tell you how I found the series. And I enjoy it, obviously. Though, as anybody would know, my live reactions are not lively. I should be known as the boar tuber. But, um... But yeah, it, it's a series I thoroughly enjoy. I've read through the series at least three times. And probably uh, Water 7 and Innie's Lobby are my favorites in terms of post or pre time skip. Bah. And then post time skip, mm, that one's a little tougher. <laughs> uh, mostly because there's not been as many arcs, I suppose. Probably my least favorite was uh, uh, Punk Hazard because the just running around for the, all the gas that does me. But that uh, what well, I should probably do a video on like that. But just the arcs that I like and dislike, all that stuff. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how I found the series and kind of what it means to me and that whole experience. And it's been fun. It helped start this whole YouTube thing, too. <laughs> and, yeah, it's been good. I hope to see it for many more years, obviously. I, I imagine ten more years is about how long this series is going to last. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oda gave us something good. And I hope he continues to give it as long as he's able. Hopefully one day we'll see the end, and it'll be not as disappointing as other series, but you know, the hype of a long, drawn-out series is always going to kind of kill it in the end, you know, sadly. Because you can't ever live up to the hype in the final moments because everything winds down. But, yeah, it's... I enjoyed this, and I just wanted to do this, and I just keep repeating myself, so I need to just end the video right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Keyshlings, roll out.